in this video I'll just introduce us to oxidation numbers so I'll first of all basically introduce the rules of assigning oxidation numbers before we get to answer these three questions that I have with me okay so what is an oxidation number so before I get to define what an oxidation number is we need to understand that an oxidation number is also known as um, an oxidation state okay so what are we saying an oxidation state also known as an oxidation number can be defined to be the number of electrons that can either be gained or lost for a chemical bond to be formed that is basically what an oxidation number state is okay so we've got certain rules that we get to consider when we are assigning oxidation states or oxidation numbers to make our lives easier okay so number one the oxidation number of a free or a neutral element is always a zero okay so when you're given a neutral element any element from the periodic table without any sign okay so let's say carbon or I say oxygen or I say magnesium notice that I've, these are not ions they're just I've written them in their elementary form there is no charge that is been uh, that has been assigned when they exist in that form the oxidation number of the oxidation state is, is zero number two the oxidation number of a monoatomic ion is equal to the charge of the ion okay so now we are talking about the ions so i use these very examples let's say o2 minus magnesium 2 plus okay so now you see that these are now monoatomic ions right so their oxidation number is equal to their charge so in this case we can say that the oxidation state of oxygen is 2 and is negative 2 the oxidation state of magnesium is positive 2 so except as an oxidation state we start with a sign rather than starting with a number okay so that is our second rule number three the oxidation number of group 1 elements is always plus 1 so get any group one element provided it is in a compound okay it is basically having a charge or an oxidation number of a positive one group one group two they have got a charge of plus two in any compound so don't mix up number one with number two or number three number one is dealing with elements without existing as an element without any charge number two is talking about ions with their charges Number three is talking about them existing in a compound. Group one will have positive one, group two metals will have positive two. Now oxidation number of oxygen in a compound is typically a minus two oxygen in a compound. Okay. Number five. Oxidation number of hydrogen is typically positive one in a compound. Very simple. Number six. Oxidation number of fluorine, which is an allergen, is typically always negative one. Okay. Number seven. The oxidation number of the other allergens, chlorine, bromine, iodine, is typically negative one as well, but can vary, unlike fluorine, which is always a negative one. Number eight. The total oxidation number of a neutral compound is zero. So a very good example is what we have there. So that is a neutral compound. There's no charge here. So since there is no charge, the sum of all the oxidation numbers is going to be equal to a zero. And finally, the total oxidation number of elements in a polyatomic ion will sum the charge on the polyatomic ion. Okay. So there are some cases. As we look at some other examples. You'll be able to see their charge they have got the charge there. Yeah. So the summation of the oxidation numbers of all these elements is supposed to be equal to that charge. And with these rules that we've talked about, we are able to answer all these questions. Okay. So I'll guide on a few and the others you're able to try them out. So calculate the oxidation number for carbon in each of the following compounds. So the first one has been given to be diamond, right? Well, we just have a carbon so 
what should we expect so carbon has been given in elementary form so what do we expect so according to oxidation number rules we expect that <coughs> the oxidation number is a zero number two carbon dioxide so I want to find the oxidation number of carbon in the carbon dioxide so we already know to say carbon will put x to denote it and then we've got two oxygen atoms now what is the charge there's no charge here is a zero so the summation of all the oxidation numbers is equal to a zero now substitute we don't know the charge of carbon i'll put x for oxygen we say it is typically negative two or minus two so we can perform our math here x is obviously going to be negative four going towards the other side will be positive four now what is oxidation state in that case so it's positive four we can go to calcium carbonate straight away so for calcium carbonate calcium is coming from group two it's a group two metal so it has got oxidation state of a two plus carbon or we'll put x we don't know we've got three oxygen atoms oxygen is minus two there's no charge on the compound so it's equal to zero so we have x minus six plus two is equal to zero so we have x minus four equal to zero so equally here the charge of our carbon of the oxidation state sorry is equal to a positive four okay we can go now to baking soda sodium hydrogen carbonate what comments can you make there sodium is in group one so it goes to oxidation state of a positive one hydrogen we said positive one carbon we don't you know put x oxygen we've got three times a minus two the charge zero so one plus one two minus the six plus x is equal to zero so our positive x is equal to a positive four so the charge of our carbon atom is positive four not necessarily the charge of oxidation state okay so i've answered question one very very simple and straightforward as you can see we're on question two we are assigning the oxidation number for chlorine in each of the following given ions okay so we've been given first of all the first one with a charge of a minus yeah. so the important um root to understand here is we said the oxidation states the summation of the oxidation states of the elements of the atoms present is equal to the charge of the compound so in this case we don't know the oxidation state of chlorine so put x plus the oxidation state of oxygen is known to be a minus two equal to the net charge of the compound which is a minus one so x is equal to negative one the minus two goes the other side it will be a positive two so ultimately the charge becomes a positive one not necessarily the charge the oxidation number sorry of the oxidation state and then on the other part equally you will do the same so here we have that so the charge is supposed to be on top we'll put x for the chlorine oxygen we've got four oxygen atoms each has got the charge of a minus two sorry the oxidation number the next oxidation this, the next charge of a compound is a minus one so we have x being equal to negative one plus eight so our charge oxidation number in this case becomes a seven this is how simple it is to deal with these you can go to the last question feel free to pause the video and try out this one okay so from oxidation rules we already know to say sulfur has been written in form of an ion so obviously the oxidation number is directory equal to what minus two we can go to the other one so there we'll say s would not sulfur itself we've got three oxygen atoms each with an oxidation state of a minus two the net charge of a compound is a minus two sulfur is equal to minus two three times negative two is a minus six because outside it becomes a positive six so sulfur here has got an oxidation number of a plus four okay simple right this is how simple it is to deal with uh, calculations of oxidation numbers
okay very very simple to deal with them so just observe what we've been given the form necessary calculations and you'll be able to get your answer